Hi, this time we are going to design a patch antenna. You are seeing just half of the structure here. Um, this is the complete drawing inside FICO. The patch antenna is a planar antenna. It's a very popular antenna. As you can see here, we are designing just half of the structure. This is a planar structure here. So this is the feed line. It's going to be excited by a microstrip line which has a, a length called feet and also which has, it's a, it's a square patch antenna just for making it easier to draw and it has a size of uh, this variable called size. Um, this, wh what determines the resonant frequency is the size, specifically this thing here, this dimension here. So it has, it's supposed to be half wavelength, guided wavelength to the frequency you are interested in. And if in order to match the input antenna impedance to 50 ohms, one usual way to achieve this is to use this called inset. So right here, right here on the edge of the patch antenna, we have something around 100, 200, 400 ohms, depending on the structure, depending on, on the thickness of the sub substrate. And right on the middle, we have zero ohms. It's a short circuit. So we start from here, which is 400, 200, to zero, to a short circuit. So we need to penetrate into the, the patch here in order to reach the 50 ohms. So that's the basic idea. And this, uh, le the length of how far you penetrate inside a patch is called inset. So just to summarize, size, this dimension here determines the, the resonant frequency and the inset here determines the resonant uh, impedance, which is supposed to be 50 ohms. So our procedure to design this thing inside FICO we are going to inform FICO all these eight points. Of course, the eight points are defined by these dimensions here, these variables, as FICO calls. Um, and then we can design just half of the structure and using mirror, we can design the other half. It's, it's kind of, it's one of the simplest way to, ways to design this um, structure. So the first thing we need to compute here is this uh, width of this microstrip line in order to achieve 50 ohms. So we can reach any one of those websites here, for instance, this uh, EM talk. And let's suppose we are going to use a substrate which has a dielectric constant of 3.4. Let's say we have um, a height, substrate height of 1.6 millimeters. And let's say our interest, fre interest frequency is 5.8 gigahertz. This is the resonant frequency you're looking for. Um, we are interested in 50 ohms and let's say 10 degrees of electrical length. It doesn't matter for us. We're just interested in the width. So here we can see that our W50 um, variable here, W50, is more or less 3.68 millimeters. Then we can just jump to FICO, we create a new model, and as usual, we define all the variables. The variables, again, they are extracted from this thing here, this drawing here, this model here. Okay, let's do it. First variable is, of course, the frequency is 5.8 times 9. Um, 5.8 gigahertz. Second, it's wavelength, wavelength, which is C naught over freq at. Next is the size. The size is the resonant side of the patch antenna. It's supposed to be half guided wavelength. So just to get an approximation here, um, just to make it easier, 
we are going to define is define is as wavelength over two times square root of 3.4. 3.4 is our dielectric constant. Um, this is quite this is not quite the correct um, effective uh, epsilon of the material, but just a, a first approximation. So it's complaining because this is wrong. Wavelength. Now nah, there we go. Okay. This is the size of our antenna. Um, next, the feed, the feed length. Let's say it's wavelength over two. This is the size of the this this small arm here, this micro strip line. Um, wavelength over two. Um, let's say is the next is inset. Inset is size over three. This is a practical uh, value that I usually take. Add inset w. This is uh, size over twenty. It's also a practical value. And uh, w fifty. This is the width of the microstrip line. We just computed as three point six eight times power of minus 3, which is 3.68 millimeters. Um, F mean, minimum frequency, let's say, is 4 gigahertz. F max is 6.5 gigahertz. And finally, the thickness of our substrate, as defined here, as you would call it, where is it? 1.6 millimeters. 1.6 millimeters. Yes, everything was correctly set. Then we start designing our um, antenna here. We just follow these points here using the polygon. And this polygon uh, I will leave in the description part of the video, but uh, we are going to do like this. We're going to polygon first point corner one i'm just again i'm just following these numbers here first is of course the origin zero 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 second point is zero feet plus size zero corner three is minus size over two feet plus size, this is the third, and n is all the time zero. Four is minus size over two. I can copy and paste from here, control C, control V. The V corner four is just feet zero. Um, corner five is again minus 0.5 times W50. The V is, here I have to subtract inset W. And 5 is feet, and here is just 0. And no, a corner number 6 is the same here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and here is feed plus inset, n is zero. Uh, corner seven is minus W50 over two. Feed plus inset, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, zero. And finally, the last one is ma. Copy and paste, minus W50 over 2, 0 and 0. Okay, we create it. You can see here our antenna, half of our antenna was created. Now um, we need to create the medium, which is our dielectric. 